Hey everybody, it's Super Superman, and this is Crypto. This would be Superman's puppy. He was born completely deaf, and I've had him since he could fit in my wittu hand. Alright. Well, there is no pause button here. Sorry, go black. Guess I gotta stand up. And turn the TV down and stuff. So I can't do. <coughs> so I can't do live streams. My channel is not worthy. I was not deemed worthy. Uh, so we're just kind of gonna hear me rant about a small amount of things, I guess. And when I say rant, I just mean you no know, talk. Uh, spew, spew my malarkey, as it were, and without spilling my trays, would be king. Okay, so. I'm fresh out of the hospital. Uh, most of you probably do not know. Uh, I had a, a hole in my appendix. And it was slowly seeping into my, uh, my groin. But I also... I'm not going to say I handle pain well, but I do handle pain well. I'm a warehouse man and I don't like going to the doctor unless, well, I'm fucking dying. So, it decided to spew a little hole into my, uh, scrotum for about a week until I decided that I felt like I was actually dying. <laughs> I ended up going in uh, while at the hospital. They immediately thought it was just a kidney stone. Uh, the kidney stone turned into, uh, now we're taking you to surgery. Uh, the doctor saying if you'd have waited another day, this would have been a very more uh, critical conversation. Um, so I come out of surgery uh, Monday. This is uh, all a week ago today. Um, I get out of surgery. They do great on the surgery, I think. Be would be my first one. Appendectomy, that is. <laughs> uh, but it had been spewing into my... Uh, scrotum for so long I'm sorry for how detailed this is uh, that it gave me a hernia long story short, sorry uh, and they can only do one surgery at once and they picked the appendectomy so I didn't die which is pretty cool but I'm a warehouseman uh, any time that I'm not in that warehouse picking up 65 cases or 65 pound cases of candy and uh, theater bibs and what have you I'm I'm making very terrible money at best based on cost of living here um, and I'm on a 25 pound weight restriction for the next five weeks and then when I go back in, well, basically when my weight restriction would be starting to let up and I'd be seen for my checkup, I'm going to have them do the hernia surgery that I so desperately need now but have to heal first from uh, before doing. Because I have a full-blown uh, hernia at the moment, which will then put me out of week in the warehouse. Uh, for a minimum of another, I, I want to say end of the year, based on how frequent these abdomen surgeries are going to end up having to be. Uh, and I've been doing this for 10 years. Uh, I'm not a spry little punk, as it were. I mean, I'm, I got a lot of years left in me, but I've got 10 behind me. I do grunt when I will get up, so I know it's not going to be the fastest recovery. So that's, you know, that was my week. So right now I'm dealing with the appendectomy recovery. 
with a full-blown left hernia. <sighs> Unfortunately, part of all that old crap shit shoot is, is I got a new bed set and couch set and all kinds of stuff literally the day before this goes down. So my house is a wreck. Uh, and I can't pick up anything to fix it. Uh, it's just like, it's the cherry. It's just the sweet little cherry. Uh, um, yeah, but I can't go live. And I would love to do so. Because if I, my ass can't be in the warehouse, uh, what's your favorite thing to do? Mine happens to be, uh, <coughs> A little of this variety hunting and grabbing everything I possibly can uh, downside to this is I don't do much eBay purchases at the moment and until I can actually make a little bit of income with my last little bits of guaranteed being tied up in well living I would love to sell off some of my stuff. Uh, none of my stack. None of my stack. Uh, this is not me trying to liquidate. This is me coming across sweet finds that I gotta do something with eventually, guys. Um, I would absolutely love to do something with this eventually. So if you could help me get to a, an auctionable live stream half dollar roll hunting level it would be amazing I mean I got some sweet stuff to give away uh, for, for a random instance there's a there's a 57 star note guys gladly uh, if, if we can get me to a point where I can do some half dollar roll hunts for you guys uh, because I can pick up up to 10 boxes a week the banks where I am are pretty cool with me, and I've been going around them for quite a while. And they're all really nice ladies, and, well, as I said, I worked at a candy warehouse for the past ten years. You get some stuff. And what do tellers love? Some sweet, sweet stuff. Every time I go in, even on my, uh my dumping banks, if I'm going to make it noisy there for them, because they have the sweet machine where they don't even count, if I'm going to interrupt their day, uh, I'm going to pick the best time I can do it, and I'm going to bring them in uh, rolls of gummy bears or Hershey's with almond bars by the, by the box, zinger boxes. Uh, that way each teller gets a couple to take home to some kids or friends or the next day. Uh, and then I will always ask to take whatever the fuck they're tired of counting. Sorry for the random F-bombs. I'm getting a little antsy with this whole no work thing. Uh, but yeah, I'll take anything that they're tired of counting in their drawer. Because that is the... <coughs> After probing how to ask the question and just try to be the most helpful uh, seeming and really being, that sentence is your best bet. I've heard a lot of you guys say different things, but I think I found the winner. Uh, and it's, hey, if you guys have anything you're tired of counting out in that drawer, I will gladly take it right now. Uh, that makes every clerk smile, and you say that broadly. Uh, if you're just there to, you know, do a bank score, say that openly to every teller, not just yours, just kind of get a little loud and say, guys, uh, if you're, any of you are tired of counting something, throw it my way. I know how that feels. Uh, it's irritating. Let's start you fresh. And you will, they will save stuff for you more often than not. Uh, they'll greet you by name with a smile even when you don't bring sweet goodies. <clears throat> uh, and it's just a, it's a good button to push. Uh, as profiling standards or, or aspects go, that, that key little mmm right there is, is the defining mmm to them. Sorry guys, Mr. Mr. Princess here. Yes, 
as I said, my bed was destroyed because I thought I was setting up stuff. Uh, no, uh, he has to sleep under covers. It's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in your life. If it's not dark enough, he refuses to go to bed. And he'll turn, and he'll wrap himself a little canoe, and that lump is now my dog. His name is Riddick, uh, or really, whatever you always wanted to call a dog, because he is completely 100% deaf. Super cool in some aspects, super not cool in a lot of others. Uh, I had to give me something to drink. And moving with this hernia is unpleasant today because I don't like pain pills. Darn it. So I should have had like seven or eight so far in the past two days and I've had three. Not doing it out of pride, just doing it out of... I live in Colorado. The whole fucking world up here is addicted to opiates or speed. I just like to smoke my reefer. Occasionally eat a little mushroom or two. When I'm with friends in the mountains on a good day. Once a year-ish. What I'd love to do is coin hunt. Of course, I do that by myself. And I can't live stream yet. Which is why I need you guys to watch this, as of now, 12 minute video. We will now officially jump into why you're coming here. Other than hearing me just talk. Hearing my sweet, sultry voice and wondering what I look like and whatnot. Oh, there it is. There it is. And where's. The little boss. Where are you, the little boss? Where are you? Oh, we found it, people. So, let's move the things that I care about. I just hit a pawn shop. I just thought it was cool. It's a World Exposition Canada, Vancouver. 1986 and it is the proof BC pavilion I like those cool random things and this was my first silver pour uh, being that Superman is by far my favorite superhero uh, it was my first tattoo was my first super how was my first pour uh, was my first silver round was the Canadian uh, BU round Ah, come on, let me angle up. Oh, perfect toe. Perfect toe. So, we went to the Erie Gold and Silver Coin Shop. Which, if you're ever in Colorado, uh, that guy there, even when he's having a bad day, he's still the best local coin shop dealer I know to deal with. Uh, in well, this side of Greeley and Fort Collins yet. But he is just such a cool, funny dude to talk to. It's still his passion. So even when he talks about having no life, just know it's his choice. And he will agree with you when you bring it up. And he's about, I don't know, oh, ooh, face reveal. Look at them, trying to do me dirty. Now I gotta rewatch this video? That's pretty rude. It's pretty rude. Oh, we're gonna take away that angle just so I don't trust it now. Uh, so, anytime you buy these books, you wanna count your sheets, which just try to do me dirty. Cause you're almost guaranteed to be missing one or two. Luckily, these ones were already pulled out of the sleeves and just set in front. 
Because the next thing you want to do that nobody really talks about is you want to look at your 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 joints here. Like I'm not gonna pull on them much because some of those are in such bad shape that these are not worth buying. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about that yet, but it is true because I got one somewhere. <laughs> such a it's a terrible purchase, and I regret it. Such I regret it. <coughs> This is the one I was the happiest with, even though it is a, a more circulated book. I didn't have a uh, upper wheat scent, wheat penny book yet. Uh, ouch. Pause break. Gotta adjust. Uh, and now I have one. I wonder how many people that's irritating right now. Sorry. So, yeah, it's got the little thumb pieces, guys. I love this book. So I think now I have one of every kind but a Danco because I didn't have the 50 bucks today to get one. Ah, oh, it goes again now. Ah, oh, yes. And it goes again though. God, I love this book. There's reasons why this was my favorite. Because this is a 1909 VDB all the way to a 1972S. Uh, granted, they start getting a little, you know, deep personalized, handwritten. Uh, so if I felt like stopping in, at 70 and just throwing some of them uh, varieties to finish out that row and just leaving that bottom three for some more varieties. I can still do that because it's my book and it is only meant to go to 58D. I could go to there and just use this varieties if I felt like it. But I'm not going to try to change, you know, history that much. I'm not a turd. But I got a lot of filling to do. Oh god. That's just so many pages. It's almost heavy. God. God. Did you guys feel that? We just connected. So, back to this getting me to live streaming. I find cool stuff. Uh, I like to look for cool stuff. Hey, look, it's cool stuff. That's an X note from 57B. And it's even. If that seven wasn't there, that would be a sweet note. But is, is it alone? Probably not. There's another one. What? Eight three five nine six zero three five. Make sure they're both the same, or else I'm having a new conversation. This is a whole new video if that happens. Yeah, we got a fifty-seven B and a fifty-seven B. Oh, what is this? I'm coming to say hello. Hey, hello. Oh, nope, can't get rid of that one. That's my Silver Seeker note. If I purchased it, I will not get rid of it in that aspect. This came from his Mystery Currency collect Collection. This front build did, mind you. Uh, this back one was... I want to say this was a bank score. Because it is not in near as good a condition as this front note. But, we could have surprises. I do that. I run out of billfolds. And I like to, I like to stash stuff for myself. Like little Christmas presents. Do you guys like to leave yourself Christmas presents? Oh, guys, we had 20 minutes. You did it. I mean, I'm surprised if anybody's still here. I hope to throw some cool things in just enough to make you want to be here. Uh, so I'm a hockey fan. And that right there. That's a proof Peter Forsberg. Uh, officially licensed by National Hockey League. Players. Association, one troy ounce, 
.999 Thon Silver Limited Edition with serial number. And mind you, what good is that if you didn't have the other? Which I absolutely do. I just can't find it at the moment. That'll be fixed umo momentarily oh. And what is this? This is a Liberty Lobby. I've never even seen one of these guys. Whoop. This was just cool, and I got it. I got it, guys, because it says integrity at top. And what is a man without integrity? You do everything as if you're... you're how I look at it is I do everything as if my son is watching me. Even when nobody's around. Because that's integrity. One silver ego liberty lobby one ounce point nine 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 fine. And they all came in their own little capsules today. And little last one here. Uh, it was the last one in his it was $26 bin sometimes you go in and you don't really ask for deals and sometimes you do today I didn't I was like oh you got one more in your 26 bin cool I'll get it and it was a 82S I don't know any Morgan varieties I only own three of them at the moment weird I know I, my stack is awkward and backwards but I love it all the same um, oh, I have one more sweet thing to show you. It's actually two more. So we're gonna hit. We're hitting half hour here, folks. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Do, 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 I'm sure you can assume what this is already. All right. Well, here we have the. The proof, but what I didn't know about was they hooked it up with the reverse proof too. Oh god, the camera does not like the reverse proof. And you know how you know it's the reverse proof? Because it says reverse proof penny on it. I don't want to keep sliding these around. I do want to get these into uh, the little penny Loctites. But I am going to keep these packaging. And I'm going to put the little Loctites in the packaging. And then I'm probably just going to press them again and just seal those back down. And this... It's only like... I think it was like 12 bucks. That's what he sold this to me for. It was twelve twelve dollars. It was either twelve or twenty four. I can't remember. But I tried to buy one of these on eBay for like the past three days. I mean, y'all are ridiculous on eBay right now. It's under twenty five dollars. Not ridiculous right now with your purchases. Uh, granted, this one he played it a little well. He went to act like he was gonna open it. To, you know, as they normally do when they are. And he acted like he struggled. Uh, and as I was just kind of sifting away, and for the price it wasn't, like, throw it in, then I'm taking it. But I thought I was getting a, uh, at, at least if somebody had opened it, they had tried to reseal it. I don't know. I figured if you're going to put forth the effort to reseal it. It's like a $1 scratch ticket. I know I'm probably going to lose. I still like to do the scratching myself. Even if somebody pre-scratched and left me a fake letter, you know, I don't, I don't really care. I get, I have really good luck with these guys. Uh, I've yet to send a coin in to be graded, not once, which is, you know, it's retarded. Sorry for the R-bomb. It's not smart to say that I'm pretty good at, with these. Uh, if I've never had one graded. But the DDOs, the cameos that shouldn't be and the misplaced date and numbers and whatnot that I have uh, stocked up would, uh, would 
it's a, it's a toot to the old horn. But these are actually in decent shape. Um, I would actually do the PCGS cleaning on these, or the the, the PCGS restoration option, uh, just because they just look, uh, they look plastic bag, just kind of dirty. There's no, I got no scuffing. I got no really bad view marks. We're taking that a camera because I want to look at this real quick. Under El Lupe. Oh, El Lupe, where'd you go, El Lupe? Oh, I found him. So we have this El Lupe for today. Um, it's the 16. Yes, I prefer stronger than a 10. Uh, granted, I know it brings out the imperfections in a coin. But this. That's a common sense thing. If you know it's going to bring out the imperfections, don't pay attention to the imperfections that it brings and just enjoy all the added benefit that the extra six times view gives you on a wide lens than looking at it at a 10 just because they say that's what PCGS does. I don't... It just seems like it wouldn't be smart just to take everybody's word for everything all the darn time. When doing it yourself or finding your own way to do it, isn't even expensive nor hard. Uh, it's actually quite fun. It's a part of the chase. Finding what we're all oh, that better be package damage. Uh, yeah, but finding what works best for you. Um, I have found that if I could find it, I would show you actually. It's a jeweler's loop, not necessarily a coin loop, is my favorite. And the only other person I've ever seen even use it by glimpse in their video is uh, Dustin Morgan with CoinOp. I think one of his very first Weed Scent videos, he's holding it in his hand, and that, that thing right there is, oh, it's phenomenal. Uh, it was my first loop as well, and man... I just gotta go order me another one because they're only like 11 bucks and it's worth it. I think it's a 30 and 60 times. Uh, pretty outrageous, yeah. But oh, it's perfect. I, oh, I love it. And I do have a cherry picker's guide. Unfortunately, it's the high end. So I don't have any of the Leakin or Jefferson uh, varieties to, in my cherry pickers. Which, I don't know, it's only a bummer because it's what I have the majority of. But when it comes to stuff like I just found right now, on this 1957, this is going to be one of the DDO varieties. I watch these videos pretty religiously. So it's just a matter of me finding my reference points at this point now. Because I know 57 is a date to look for. Oh, 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 oh. No, nope. we'll pick up the coin microscope in a minute. Yeah, I just wanted to show you this sweet, sweet stuff. I, th I think that was all, guys. I think that was all. No, that couldn't have been all. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I guess that was all. So we're going to end it on one of these notes. What is this? Who knows? But the only one I've ever opened. 
actually has the limited edition multicolored Batman in it. So he's sitting around here watching over me somewhere. Started it and we're gonna finish it. So we're gonna see what luck number two was. Well, I think it's Superman related, which makes me genuinely happy. Oh, that's awesome, actually. Super, super, super stoked about this right now. Cool thing about these little collectible things, they tell you that how many there is. There's 16, Series 2. Put it inside to protect the little feelers from finding out everything. They have the book. And we have him. And now we have the glow in the dark two face. I was really hoping it was Superman variety. Oh, we're gonna have to get some more of those guys because I didn't even know about some of those cool ones. What's up? All right, guys. Silver, super silver man out for now.